Hello guys and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look around my first car. So yeah, in today's video I'm going to be explaining why I bought this car and the experiences that I've had with it now that I've owned it for a year. So yeah, first let's get into the reason why I bought this car. The reason I picked this car over any other random secondhand cars is because this car looks sporty to me. Ever since I was a child, I've been interested in motorsports. I've always watched racing with my mom. I've done all the racing that I could afford. I didn't grow up in a very rich family. So the racing that I could do, I enjoyed. So yeah, racing and motorsports have always been a bit, big part of my family. Now we've never really had a car in my family, in my close family. So I'm the first one to actually have a car. So I wanted this to be a, a special one. And this ain't no Ferrari or or no Porsche or anything like that. It's not a real race car. But for a starter car in my budget, which was around $3,000, this had some sporty looks. It fit the criteria of the engine and everything else, which we will get into. So that's one of the reasons why I picked this car, because of the nostalgic feeling that it has given me, the, the racing, uh, the little racing boy in me, which gets excited every time I look at the, the features, like the spoiler or the, the wide tires, which I've put on and, and everything like that. Now, the second reason for picking this car would, would definitely be for practicalities. I use it every day for getting to and from work and other trips for family or shopping and stuff like that. So far I have clocked a total of around 14,000 kilometers on it and I've owned it for and I've owned the car in close to a year now. So yeah, it, it gets daily driven my car, not that it is a race car anyway. And I've just done a big maintenance repair to it, which was replacing the clutch. But I'll tell you more about that in a later video. My goal was to find a car when I turned 18, but unfortunately I didn't have my driver's license at that point. I first got my driver's license almost a year later. I was still 18, but I, I was about to turn 19 when I got my driver's license. At that moment, I didn't have a full-time job either. And I didn't want to buy a car if I didn't have a full-time job because I didn't think I would be able to support myself with the financial responsibilities that comes when you buy a car. So when I finally had the tools and the money to go ahead and buy myself a new car, it was time to start looking for one. But this wasn't all easy either, because I knew I wanted something a little bit different. I didn't want a car that didn't have any soul or didn't have any sort of cool features or great looks. So when I initially started looking, I didn't find anything that I, I found interesting. Of course, the car also had to be in, in, in good shape and, and shouldn't have too many kilometers on it either. So searching for the right car took some time. But eventually I found a few and I started to book some times where I could go out and test drive some of them. Initially, I found a Peugeot 307. However, that car is, is just my car with a smaller engine, bigger chassis, so it would, would be slower overall. And when I took the car for its test drive, it felt horrible. The biting point of the clutch was just when you let off the pedal, which I could not drive. I have always learned to drive with a clutch point that was around the middle. So yeah, that was totally not the car for me. However, in the following days, my friend and I went to look at a car. Now this car was way better. The clutch felt much more smooth. And after my friend and I test drived it, he gave it the mechanical okay. I liked it. It had all the quirks and sporty looks, which I wanted. I bought it. And with the purchase came a new set of front brakes and discs because they were worn out, a new timing belt and a full aircon service. So that was great news for me because I've gotten a car for around two and a half thousand. It had only driven around 204,000 kilometers when I got it and it got a big service before I just bought it. So yeah, my current car, the car that I ended with is a 2006 Peugeot 207. Now this car came with a 1.6 four cylinder fuel engine. This car makes around 109 horsepower out of the factory and it's estimated that it makes around 130 now. And all these extra horsepowers is because of this guy of course. Uh -huh. The car weighs around 1300 kg and it is a 5 door. And it's a front wheel drive car with a 5 speed manual gearbox. And I of course also drive with the girlfriend mod around the stick shift which gives better launches and better shift times. So yeah, that was a quick rundown of the reasons why I bought my car. Now let's get into the experiences I've had with it so far. 
Gotta sit down for this next segment. Now I've had my fair share of good experiences with this car, but it surely has also brought me a lot of bad ones. Nothing serious, I haven't crashed the car yet, only driven into a bush two times, though separate bushes. But you suddenly realize that it's a serious thing owning a car. You gotta have payments, insurance, fuel and everything like that. An estimate of how much I've spent on this car would be around $1,500 to $2,000 already. And that's just on mods and upkeep, but I'll get into that in a later video. Being that I'm one of few of my friends group that have and owns his own car, I I often get to do the job of being designated driver. Though I often pick it myself, I like to drive a lot, even in the evening. You do sometimes feel though that you miss out on a party or you don't drink as much when you finally drink because you know you're gonna be driving the day after or something like that. So yeah, I would say I have missed out on a few trips to town or parties because I felt like I've had to go to work the day after and I had to drive there. But enough with the bad things, my car has brought me a lot of good things. I've been snow drifting with it. I have been drag racing. I have been just cruising with my friend. I have been to more events and car shows than I ever would. I get to take my family around to do stuff, go to the beach, and go to, to work without having to commute an hour in bus. Generally, there's a plethora of good things that having your own car brings. Especially now that I'm in a young age, having my own car is not always something you see. Most people borrow their mom's car or their dad's car. So yeah, it has brought me a lot of great experiences. But out of all these things, it has brought me freedom. I get to go out to beautiful places like this and film videos for you guys. And also just cruise around. If I need to get something, I can do it. If I, if I want something, I can go get it. If I want to take my family somewhere, I want to go somewhere, I can do it. So yeah, that is a quick little view of my car. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment what you drive and if you have a car. And if you don't, make sure to leave a comment what your dream car is. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Here's the startup from the inside. Crazy machine.